Let's go ahead and launch the process. So what this process first does is it looks in the list of labels and if uh, the knowledge bases exist within uh, contact center uh, knowledge bases, it will then not create them, but if they don't exist, it will create them so we can later on populate them uh, with the data that they extract. Going into Salesforce, it um, goes through all of the article types one by one uh, and Browsing those categories, it clicks on each uh, document, and you can see the document opening in a Chrome tab. It then gets all of the contents from that document, and uh, if they're labeled orchestrator, so not only if it contains the word orchestrator, but if it's actually labeled orchestrator, it will go ahead and add it to the knowledge base. So uh, data extraction from Confluence is finished. Uh, we're going to see the robot continue and launch the second service, which is going to extract the same data, uh, the same labels, excuse me, uh, from Salesforce. So we can see it go to the search section. And in the search section, there exists a labeling search. And it, it's going to go ahead and pick up uh, the labels uh, one by one. And uh, Orchestrator is the first one. So uh, at first it goes through all of the pages and remembers their location and remembers their uh, uh, URL and, and title. And then it's going to go one by one through all of those pages and it's going to extract the title and it's going to extract uh, the body. And it's also gonna check if Orchestrator is indeed uh, a valid label or just a text tag there. So now that all the data is extracted by the services, you can see that the robot is still running. Uh, this is the point where it's actually calling the CC API um, as it has a list of knowledge base names, knowledge base identifiers, and documents to upload in that particular knowledge base. It's gonna do all the API calls, and when it's done, we should see the knowledge base uh, knowledge bases being populated. So let's wait for this to be over. Uh, okay, so the process is finished. Let's go ahead and take a look at our knowledge bases. And now we see that all of the tags that we have um, created as the input for our process are now knowledge bases. Now let's go ahead and look and see the documents within those knowledge bases. So if we're gonna look at infrastructure, we're gonna see it contains a whole bunch of, of documents. Mm -hmm.